Hello everyone, myself Manju Sinku, Assistant Professor in the Department of Botany, SS Memorial College, Ranchi University, Ranchi. Today, I am going to discuss introductory part of biotechnology. It will help the students of semester 6 and will cover paper 14. In our today's life, we all are aware of biotechnology and its products we are using like transgenic plants, medicines, enzymes, etc. So, in simple term, we can define biotechnology as fusion of biology and technology. Or in other words, biotechnology is a broad area of biology that utilizes cellular and biomolecular processes to develop technologies and products that help improve our lives and the health of our planet. Further, in other words, biotechnology can be defined as engineering of organism for the purpose of human usage. So, whatever the definition can be, but there are two main features common to every definition and that is utilization of biological entities like microorganisms, cells of higher organism, either living or dead, their components or constituents like an enzyme, in such a way that some useful products or services is generated. This product or service should enhance human welfare. It may be pointed out that production technologies pertaining to agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry, etc. also utilize biological entities like plants and animals to generate useful products. But these activities are not regarded as biotechnology since they are long recognized and well established disciplines in their own right. However, the exploitation of animal and plant cell cultured in vitro as well as of their constituents for generating products or services is an integral part of biotechnology. Although the term biotechnology is of recent origin, the discipline itself is very old. We have used the biological processes of microorganism for more than 6000 years to make useful food products such as wine, vinegar, curd, etc. In prehistoric time, a primitive form of biotechnology was practiced by agriculturalists who established better quality species of plant and animals by method of cross-pollination or cross-breeding. Previous form of biotechnology include training and selective training of animals, the cultivation of crops and the utilization of microorganisms to produce products such as cheese, yogurt, mm -hmm. bread, beer, etc. Agriculture practice has become a dominant way of producing food known to people since Neolithic revolution. The earliest example of such domesticated mm -hmm. plants are rice, barley and wheat. Domestication of animals were also done for production of milk or meat. Ancient production of cheese, yogurt and bread from microorganism is also reported. Later, it was discovered that microorganisms, example bacteria, yeast or molds produce alcoholic drink such as beer and wine by fermentation. So, scientific evidence for fermentation was first discovered by Louis Pasteur in, 19, in late 1800s. He demonstrated germ theory presenting the survival of microorganism and their further effect on process of fermentation. He stated that these microorganisms hydrolyze sugar when they lack oxygen and thus responsible for fermentation. In earlier times, 
several traditional medicines were used as biotechnology products such as honey which could be used to treat several respiratory ailments and as ointment for wounds scientists have thought that it may contain antibiotic property that heals the wound such technique or methods can be employed for development of many other pharmaceutical products several animal and plant scientists had already used selective breeding to this observation charles darwin added the ability of science to change species and then his contribution came into light was darwin's theory of natural selection biotechnology has led to development of antibiotics in 1928 when alexander fleming discovered penicillin which was extracted from a fungi penicillium it was available for medicinal use to treat bacterial infection in human thus man has continued his quest for improving the natural capabilities of microorganism making them capable of novel processes discovering microorganism with novel capabilities this has led to development of several branches of biotechnology they are first green biotechnology it is applied to agricultural processes example selection and domestication of plants via micropropagation or plant tissue culture another example is designing of transgenic plants that possess improved quality and can tolerate biotic and abiotic stress like pest resistant herbicide resistant etc next is red biotechnology it is the use of biotechnology in medical and pharmaceutical industries and health preservation this branch involve production of vaccines and antibiotics regenerative therapies development of hormones stem cells antibodies diagnostic test etc the next branch of biotechnology is blue biotechnology it is based on exploitation of sea resources to create products and industrial application example production of biofuels etc another branch is white biotechnology also known as industrial biotechnology applied to industrial processes example designing of organism to produce useful chemicals another example is using of enzyme as industrial catalyst to either produce valuable chemicals or destroy hazardous polluting chemicals another branch is yellow biotechnology it refers to use of biotechnology in food production for example making wine cheese beers by fermentation another branch of biotechnology is gray biotechnology it is dedicated to environmental application and focused on maintenance of biodiversity and removal of pollutants another branch of biotechnology is bioinformatics it is an interdisciplinary field that addresses biological problems using computational techniques and make the rapid organization as well as analysis of biological data possible this field may also be referred as computational biology it plays important role in various areas such as functional genomics which means branch of molecular biology that is concerned with structure function evolution and mapping of genome and it further plays important role in proteomics too like study of proteomes and form a key component in biotechnology and pharmaceutical sectors 
Thus, we can say biotechnology is a multidisciplinary branch. In India, National Biotechnology Board in 1928 encourages and coordinates research activities. In 1986, DBT, that is Department of Biotechnology, was created within Ministry of Science and Technology for research purposes in various fields including crop improvement, soil environmental issues, etc. for the human welfare. So dear students, lastly I would like to say that try to become a young researcher, develop your innovative ideas which will lead to new discovery and inventions and directly or indirectly it will somehow help the humankind and society. Thank you.